I hope you're ready to go running in high heels because this week on Theme Park Bar, we're going to Jurassic World at Universal Studios Hollywood for the Isla Nubar Tiki inspired drink, The Bird of Paradise. Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know that the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. The Bird of Paradise is a wonderful tiki-inspired cocktail, combining the flavors of exotic fruits such as passion fruit and guava mixed with three types of rum. This cocktail is guaranteed to make you forget you're in a theme park where many people have literally been eaten alive inside of. Too many of these and you're actually going to be feeling like Ian Malcolm in no time flat. Isla Nubar first opened in the summer of 2019 when Jurassic Park The Ride was reimagined and updated to become the new Jurassic World. With the updated attraction came an entire theming overhaul for the surrounding area, bringing with it a brand new raptor encounter, a revitalized Jurassic Cafe, and the brand new Isla Nubar. The movie Jurassic World represented our love for theme park cocktails perfectly, I think, and so it's only fitting that a new bar was built for the attraction, serving up a wonderful array of frozen cocktails and tiki-inspired drinks that look harmless, but they have a bite strong enough to make the Indominus Rex blush. The tropical flavors of the Bird of Paradise was actually so popular, it was brought over to Islands of Adventure to be served at the Watering Hole Bar in, you guessed it, Jurassic Park. Maybe it's a sign of things to come soon. You know, time is an ever-flowing river after all. And speaking of flowing, here's what you're going to need to get this drink flowing. It's called a transition, kids. One and a half ounces of passion fruit rum, half an ounce of silver rum, one ounce of spiced rum, one ounce of guava puree, half an ounce of passion fruit puree, half an ounce of orgette, half an ounce of lime juice, and two dashes of Angostura bitters. The name of cocktails is always an interesting thing. It's very common for the same drink to be known by multiple names all across the country. In the same vein, it's not uncommon to see multiple drinks share a name. The Bird of Paradise is going to be one of those cocktails. I've seen many drinks using the Bird of Paradise name that use everything from tequila, gin, even Campari and coffee sometimes. Unlike all of those, ours is going to be very fruit forward. The star of the show being rum, most notably a passion fruit flavored rum. All right, let's go ahead and get our drink made. Of course, we're gonna start with our mixing glass full of ice. All righty, to our ice, we're gonna add an ounce and a half of passion fruit flavored rum. I'm using Malibu, but hey, if it's passion fruit flavored rum, it doesn't really matter what it's made of. Coming in behind with half an ounce of silver rum. Now we're gonna get a little exotic here. I'm gonna throw in one ounce of our guava puree. We're going to come in with half an ounce of passion fruit puree. And if you've been watching the show, you know, I love me some passion fruit. Follow that up with half an ounce of orgette. Orgette, of course, is an almond syrup. It's a pretty, pretty good uh, tiki drink staple. I'm going to top it off with half an ounce of lime juice. I'm using freshly squeezed, which is going to be about the juice of half of a lime. Half an ounce, half a lime, pretty easy. I love watching the oil mist off of the, the rind there. It's one of those little things, you know, just over the years of watching everything happen. Now we're gonna get a fun ingredient I don't think it's been on the show before, some Angostura bitters. Literally two drops of this is gonna add so much complexity and levels of flavor to this cocktail. We'll uh, be visiting bitters more in the future. Let's go ahead and get this drink mixed up, shall we? Give her a shake. We're gonna pull up our uh, tiki glass of choice. Pour her right in. Top of the little ice if necessary. Now lastly, for our final ingredient, it's going to be one ounce of spiced rum as I pour it on top of a float. Instead of using the jigger, I'm just going to eyeball this and kind of go by feel. But we're, the most important thing you want to do is pour it gently over a spoon. That's going to help you keep it as a top layer there. Now of course, no tiki drink is complete without a little over the top garnish. So I got a couple of pineapple leaves right here, a little slice of orange, and of course a cherry on top. 
And there it is, the Isla Nubar smash hit, the bird of paradise. Let's go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna need a straw for this guy, so. Let's get in there, let's get a, let's get a sip. Oh, holy shit, that's good. Pardon me, sorry guys. I honestly have not had this cocktail until this very moment. The last time I went to Universal Studios Hollywood was about three weeks before the bar opened and I'm still salty about it. Oh man. You got a lot going on in there. Of course the passion fruit is, is the main player in there with the, the puree and of course the passion fruit rum. The guava adds a nice compliment to it. Uh, the couple of drops of the Angostura bitters in there helps wane it back from not quite being on candy level of sweet, but this is a very sweet and fruity cocktail for sure. And oh, oh, when you get that, when you get the rum on top, you get that floater there. Oh man. Oh, this is so good. This is dangerous. This is. Oh man, I. Uh... This is incredibly good. This is. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean, <laughs> I try to sound a little more professional. I try to have more, uh, more, more insight for you. This is just good. This is sweet. This is refreshing. This is fruity. This is something that's going to knock you flat on your ass in about four seconds flat too. I tell you what. Mm. Oh man. No. Oh. You're my boy blue. I tell you what. Mm. I know blue is a girl. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Theme Park Bar. If you haven't done so already, become one of my bar regulars by subscribing to the channel and let me know down in the comments below are there any cocktails you'd like to see recreated here. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, both at Theme Park Bar, and also be sure to check out the all new ThemeParkBar.com for all my past videos and recipes. If you decide to recreate any of our cocktails too, be sure to tag me in your photos with the hashtag of Theme Park Bar. Remember when you go out to always be safe, to drink responsibly, and never forget to tip your bartenders. Now, until next time, guys, remember as well. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Cheers.